So let's get right to the part where we open the box. This is the box, and it's getting opened. And inside the box, there's another box. And inside that box, wait, there's a case, and it's black. It says J something on it, and it it's it's packed pretty well. And then it's uh, wrapped again in this mummy guitar wrap inside of the box, inside of the case. And then inside of that is the, wow, yeah, that is a pretty cool looking guitar. It's got kind of that Who vibe going on there. Yeah, I can't complain about that. Today we're going to look at this guitar, Telly Style, from a company that calls themselves Leo James. Good day to you all and welcome back to the channel. My name's G and this is G-Tone Guitars. Today we're looking at a guitar from a new brand for the channel. It's called Leo James. It's spelled J-A-Y-M-Z. A bunch of products on Amazon besides this guitar. They have uh, Les Paul styles. They even have a light up pick and that's pretty neat. Leo James uh, is not a real person. It's just a brand. Well, let's make a guitar brand that sounds familiar but sort of like a... Uh, what are some of the brands? Uh, Glenn Burton, Jay Tursner, Harley Benton. This must be Harley Benton's long lost cousin. I can just see him sitting around the boardroom and the smartest girl in the room says, let's call it Leo James, J-A-M-E-S, a good biblical, everyone recognizes name. And they said, yeah, that's a great idea, we'll go with that. But then the CEO's nephew speaks up and says, wait, I've got an idea, let's call it Leo James. But we'll spell it J-A-Y-M-Z. And well, because he was the CEO's nephew, they all said, yay, good idea, and they named it that. Whatever, it's just a name. Out of the box, very playable guitar. From the head down, starting with the headstock, we've got some inexpensive tuners. If I were gonna you know, keep and play this guitar for a long time, I would probably replace them. They're not very good. It's got a couple of cheap string trees. Eh, they are what they are. It's got a nut that's made of plastic, it is cut in pretty good though, so no complaints with that. Rosewood. It looks pretty nice. It looks like what I call a, a you know, nice looking rosewood fretboard. The fret ends are very nice. There's no issue whatsoever with there on either side. I don't feel a thing. The action out of the box is pretty respectable. Definitely playable. It's a little bit microphonic. Microphonic, but not bad. The bridge pickup, on the other hand, wow. It's like having a Shure SM57 inside your guitar. Hey, I'm gonna sing into my pickups. I'm gonna sing into the back of the guitar. Are you hearing that? Microphonic pickups for sure. Three-way selector switch. The switch isn't microphonic. That bridge pickup sure is. So, overall, my final thoughts on this guitar, I will put an affiliate link in the description below. I do appreciate it if you want to click on that and take a look. For the money, not a bad guitar. The design is one that, you know, standard Tele style. The graphics on this, it's going to be a personal preference. If you kind of dig a Union Jack or an American flag on a guitar, then this might be the one for you. 
It's got a clear pick guard, so you can see all that beautiful uh, graphics. I'm certain that's just like an applied decal of some kind. It's been glossed over. I haven't opened up the guitar to look at the electronics, but I assume that they are, you know, small pots, ceramic pickups, etc. <coughs> PC board switch. Your standard inexpensive guitar. Would I recommend it? <laughs> Yes, I would. Just based on the price point and the fact that it does play well out of the box. There's just a couple little things that could be better, but it's acceptable. It's not a premium guitar, but it's better than some other guitars that I have reviewed. I may give Leo James another look at. They have uh, different styles of guitars, and they even have some that have the really nice rounded uh, like fret ends. So I'd like to check out one of those. Well, if content like this interests you, then I encourage you to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon so you know when new videos drop, and until next time, peace! Oh, I'm having a good time, aren't I?